everyone, it's Hannah, and today I'm going to be showing you how I made a Spinel doll from Steven Universe the Movie. I love Steven Universe the Movie, I love Spinel, I think she's a great character, the animation is so good, the songs are so good, just everything. Everything is so good! Anyway, I hope you guys liked the video, please comment what doll you think I should do next. Onward! The doll I'm using is Draculaura from Monster High, and the first thing I did was cut off all the hair. Then I took the head off and used tweezers to pull out the rest of the hair until she is completely bald. To wipe off the factory paint, I used 100% acetone nail polish remover and Q-tips. Then I wiped the face with the paper towel soaked in acetone to make sure the face is all clean. To draw on the face, I'm using Faber-Castell watercolor pencils. I also used Mr. Super Clear to prep the face for the repaint. I started out with a light pink color for the outline, sprayed it with Mr. Super Clear to seal it, and then went over that with darker and darker colors, making sure to spray between each layer. If you don't spray it with the sealant, eventually the pencil will start to flake off the face. I'm so glad I finally got around to doing Spinel and making this video because I wanted to do her as soon as I watched Steven Universe the movie and I saw her design and I listened to other friends on repeat every day. It's so good. The entire soundtrack is just great. I'm really excited for Steven Universe Future to come back on. I do not like hiatuses, but if you're a Steven Universe fan, you're used to it. Spinel's hairline is kind of like a triangle that reaches down to the bridge of her nose, so I colored in that area of her face too. Once I was done with the watercolor pencils, I sprayed it once again and used soft pastels to add blush. I used this hot pink color. I sealed it, then added dots of white acrylic paint to the eyes. Once it was all dry, I used gloss varnish on the eyes and lips to make them shiny. Onto the hair, I used acrylic yarn and cut a bunch of strands. Then I tied the yarn strands onto a metal hoop. Then I brushed the yarn out using a pet brush. I keep going over and over it until there are no tangles and it is nice and fluffy. Usually I would straighten the hair afterwards, but Spinel has fluffy and crazy hair going on, so I wanted to capture that. Next, I cut the hair off from the hoop and then glue the pieces down onto plastic wrap using tacky glue. I squeezed a line of glue onto the wrap, pressed it down using a palette knife, added more glue on top of that, and pressed it down again. Then I peeled the hair off once it was all dry and trimmed off the excess glue.
Here's my pile of fluffy hair. I use tacky glue again to glue the hair wefts onto the head until she has a nice full head of hair. Then I used tiny hair bands to put it into pigtails. I glued another weft on top and cut it to make that triangle hairline. Lastly, I glued on false lashes to make her eyes really stand out. For the body, I originally tried just painting directly onto it, but I hated how everything still showed, so I decided to use epoxy sculpt and add clay to the body to make her shirt. I also had already sanded down the doll's chest so that her gym can properly fit. I want to get better at clay sculpting, so this was great practice. I also used epoxy sculpt to make her pointed shoulder pads. The boots I'm using are from a Bunny Blanc doll, and I'm adding clay to the front of the boots to make it point upwards. When the clay completely hardened, I put on my mask and sanded it until smooth. Then I painted everything white as a base color. I also painted the legs. The boots are supposed to be the same hot pink color as your puffy shorts, so I tried to match the paint color to my fabric color as much as I could. Also, I forgot to cut the little triangles at the top, so I had to paint again to cover these white bits. Now painting the bodice and sleeves. The gloves she wears is the same color as the sleeves, so I painted the hands the same color as well as these little cuffs I got off another doll. I originally tried to make those Mickey Mouse type gloves out of clay and out of fabric, but it always turned out horrible, so I settled with just painting. When the paint dried, I added gloss varnish to it. Spinel's gem is something I got out of one of those mixed gem bags I found at Michael's. I did a poll on Instagram trying to decide which size heart to use, and the bigger heart won! Thanks for your input, everyone! I painted the gem pink, made it glossy, and then hot glued it onto her chest. Now for the gem rejuvenator weapon, aka a scythe, I used a wooden dowel and epoxy sculpt to make the tip of the weapon as well as the handle. Then I sanded it down until it's smooth and painted it. For the actual scythe blade, I drew onto thick craft foam and cut it out. I got two gems out of that same Michaels bag that were the perfect shape and glued them together, then glued it to the foam and on top of the pole. 
The blade is actually supposed to be floating on either sides of the gym, but I'm not sure how to recreate that in reality. Next, I painted the blade as well as the gym. Here it is! Also, I added gloss varnish to make it shiny. Lastly, I worked on the shorts. I'm using a bloomer pattern from the Looking Glass Lolita Doll Clothes pattern from DG Requiem on Etsy. I traced it onto my fabric and cut out two pieces. Then I placed the two pieces right sides together and sewed along here. I folded the waistband down and sewed, making sure there's enough space to put elastic through. To thread the elastic through, I put a safety pin through the very top of it and then guided it through the opening. I did the same exact thing for the bottom of the shorts. Then I folded it right sides together and sewed up the leg, over the crotch area, and down the other leg. Then I turned it right side out, folded in the shorts to give it more of a bubble look, and ta-da! Spinel is done! Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to comment and give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time!